Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olean's.com, Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 12, Fitting Text to a Path. In Lesson 11, I shared with you a trick I used to eliminate the jump stitches between keyboard's text by converting it to stitches. Let's work a little bit more with text. I'm going to choose the text tool and I'll type in testing again enter or left click to populate the stitches and I want this text to follow a path so I will choose my line tool I use a curved line in an open path and I'll click left click one two and double click to end my path. To By getting the select tool I'm going to select the path and by holding the control key down I'm going to select the text so that they are both selected. Under the arrange tab you'll see a fit text to path. Now I have already added my fit text to path on my quick access toolbar because I don't want to have to go up to the tabs every time uh, I, I change my function. So we'll go ahead and put, pull the drop down menu and select fit text to outline and it gives us different options on how to arrange it whether you want it in the middle of the line or underneath it or uh, how you horizontally or orient the text. So let's go ahead and just use the default. I'll say OK. And you can now see that the text is on this path. Now I didn't really want this zigzag line. I just wanted the text to be in an arc. So I'm going to turn off the line. Now this line will not sew out. It's just a path. By selecting the text, when we have everything selected and you see this little uh, A with the uh, arrows pointing down on both sides, that means we can move this text, all of it, to one side or the other. If, however, you use your select tool and you select just one of these letters, you can, when you see that mark again, you can move each letter individually and wait till you get the little A symbol and you can also uh, manipulate each letter individually and change its color Let's do the select tool you can change its color to a different color You can change the size. Uh, you, the, the possibilities are endless. So that is how you fit the text to a basic path. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you what we can do with it on a surface.